somebody asked me about load testing heated paracord. A couple of years ago, I did a video on heat shrinking paracord. And one of the comments was, well, does that lose your strength? Now, at the time, I was doing it to make a collar and also to wrap my steering wheel on my old truck. Well, load testing didn't make any sense, but as I was thinking about it, for anybody who wanted to use it for horse reins or for a dog leash or what have you, load testing does make a lot of sense. So to that end, here's what I've done. I've taken Atwood rope, so a high quality. I'm not gonna go with some cheap stuff. This is nylon, because we all know Atwood's quality stuff. So, Atwood rope, I got my Harbor Freight bucket here, and I got my weights. So what I'm gonna do is first, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the weights I have. So I'm gonna put 15 in. Unlike the other stuff, perfect. We'll put a 10 in. So we got 25 pounds in here. We've got the five, that's 30. We're gonna put a 10, that's 40. We're now up to another 10, that's 50. We got an eight, that takes to 58. And another eight. That takes it to 56. So, that's a tight line, but it's nowhere near breaking. So now what I'm gonna do is not with it in on there, I'm going to, in intervals, heat shrink it, and let's see how it impacts it. So I have my heat gun here. It's an 1800 watt heat gun and I'm going to crank it up and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up and down for we're going to say five minutes. It's definitely blowing hot and I can feel the cord is getting warm. It's not terribly hot, but it is warm. There's some fringe up here, and I can see it melting the, the little fringy piece. So it's definitely hot. And the cord itself is starting to get very warm. and it's time. Okay, now this got hot enough that this end started to fringe and it's melted similar to what if I just lightly put a flame on it. So that gives you an idea. It's already cooling down, but it was very warm. Like I said, similar to if I ran a flame over it. So here's 15. 25, 30, 40, 50, 58, and 66. No problem at all. So what we'll do next is I'm going to go along it for 10 minutes and we'll see if that does anything so stay tuned be right back okay now we're going to do 10 minutes starting now
and that's time. So, first thing I'm going to tell you, this, you can tell that the nylon is starting to melt. It feels a little bit uh, smoother. Uh, up close you can actually um, see it's a little shinier. And it's only because I have my glasses on and I'm right up on top of it. But let's see now if if it can still hold. So we'll put the 15, 25, Thirty, forty, fifty, eight, sixty-six. It's holding just fine. Now, you can tell there's more tension here. So, the shrinking of it has made it at least the sheath has made it a little bit tenser. Now what we're going to do though is we got 66 pounds. 66 pounds that's going to be the standard mid-sized dog, larger sized dog. So think um, uh, a Staffy, a Pity, a, you know, um, a smaller Lab, um, things like that. That's, uh, that's about their size. So what would happen if I pick this up and let it drop. That's going to be more force. So, pick it up. Look at that. It still holds. Hell, you can see there, it's doing more to the bucket than it is. And it cracked the uh, handle. So, shrinking it, it's not going to do anything. You can use a heat gun. You can keep strength. You just have to dissipate it and be take your time. So that's it for this week. Until next time, keep paracording. Later.